Hey everyone, it's Kothis and this is take three. We're gonna try and do this. This is a live commentary of Xur. I don't have time to make an edited video for today. There's just too many other videos to make, but I did wanna get this out. He's got Trinity Ghoul. Pick this up immediately. It is amazing. One of the best ad clear exotics that you can get. Hunters get Knucklehead Radar, pretty underutilized, average exotic, but a decent roll. You got 65 on there, so pick it up if you want. Titans Syntheseps, grab these immediately. This is a decent roll on these. You got Resilience, Recovery, and Discipline, and a little bit of Strength, but you can do crazy stuff with Glaive builds and just anything melee related, so definitely grab these. Uh, Warlocks, you get the Claws of Ahamkara, very underutilized exotic. Decent Strength roll, but overall not very used, so pretty average. As far as the legendary weapons, interesting now that you can get Seraph and all the weapons from last year, so all the Ecolo stuff. I do like this. You cannot get red borders on these, which is unfortunate, but at least you can go ahead and grab one if you missed out on them. The hand cannon, Ecolo's hand cannon, pretty average. I wouldn't grab this. The disparity, actually a good roll here if you want to for PvP. I actually really like this, so go ahead and grab it. Skip, uh, skip, and then you have the first and last out with auto-loading Vorpal. Very good roll on this one. For sure, grab this. Interference, six. This was a very good roll like two years ago. It's okay now. I, I mean, you can. There's there's other better grenade launchers in my opinion, but you can go ahead and grab this if you're brand new to the game and you have nothing. And then skip out on the Lonesome. You don't need it. As far as the armor, you've got the old Future War Cult Simulator set, which the Titan, unfortunately, has all pretty bad rolls on everything. Okay, Hawkmoon and DMT, uh, you've got Snapshot on both of them. If you don't know, they will be craftable at some point in Lightfall, I believe in Season 22. Both of these weapons are decent. You, you don't have to have them, and I, I kind of like the Snapshot roll on the Hawkmoon. It's okay. Snapshot on DMT is not that great. Both of these, I would say, I mean, if you just absolutely have to get it, then you can. Otherwise, you can feel free to skip out on it. That is it for Xur this week. Keep a lookout for my Season 20 overview and Lightfall overview. It should be coming out in the next couple hours. Anyways, I am back to that. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure to join Discord. See ya.